Guess what? I've met the man of my dreams. I never imagined I'd ever come across anyone like him. His name is Victor. He's a really, really nice guy. I love everything about him. Aminata. What a wonderful girl. I met her at the market. She had just done her shopping and she was trying her best to carry her bags. Such determination. I remember the very first time we met. The gentleman wanted to help me with my shopping bags. Can I give you a hand? No thanks. I can manage it just fine, sir. Her smile made me weak at the knees. Victor has a wonderful sense of humor, even if I don't always get all his jokes. We just met, yet we talked for hours and hours. We completely forgot about time and the world around us. She enchanted me with her intelligence, her laughter, her love of life. It was all quite simply magical. Talk about love at first sight. I think that for the very first time, I'm really in love. It may sound crazy, but I already imagine us getting married one day. I'm madly in love with Aminata. I love her and I hope she knows it. She's a hard-working student. I'm proud of her. She knows now that I took out a small loan and set up a business growing vegetables. That allowed me to create jobs for my brothers. I told her some of my secrets. I kept one for myself. We have a date in an hour. He says he'd like to talk to me about something. So I want to look my very finest. Maybe he's going to propose to me. It's okay to dream, isn't it? We've been together for a good while now, and we've never even talked about making love. It seems strange that he doesn't want to speak to me about it. Sometimes, I drop little hints in that direction, but he pretends not to understand. He even grows distant from me. This evening is critical. I have to tell her everything. I'm afraid that she might hear about it from someone else and that she'd be upset. It's still hard for me to believe. Because of 15 minutes of pleasure without a condom. Because I was so damned stupid and wasn't able to keep my own desire under control. I'm HIV positive. Aminata, I hope you'll forgive me for having told you so late. Yes, I was selfish. I didn't reveal my secret to you because I wanted your smiles, your touch, your kisses, without judgment and without pity. I'm causing you to suffer. I'm so sorry to hurt you too. You're going away and I'm losing you. Oh, hey, oh, hey.
Victor is HIV positive and he waits until now to tell me about it. What an idiot. I hate him. I don't know what I feel for him anymore. Anger, fear, pity, or tenderness. But after all, he's still the same guy I fell in love with. The same guy who made me laugh, who made me dream. And our future? Well, some things will surely have to change, but the heart of the matter is that I still love him. I hope that he'll forgive me for having been distant with him. I need the time to come to terms with the news. From this moment on, there is no good reason why we shouldn't see each other. I dream of growing old. It's something I never thought of before. I look forward to having gray hair and wrinkles. I dream of living happily for a long, long time with her. We've gone through some tough times, but now everything has fallen into place. My life has changed. I love life now. I concentrate on the heart of the matter. Seeing Victor so confident and happy gives me a lot of courage and hope. Every day that I spend with him, I realize just how lucky I am. I admire him. He's a great man. He's my man. I wouldn't change a moment of our story. By the way, our story has only just begun. <laughs>